All right, so let's take a really quick recap about working with Akon Digital's Remix drums. So as we know, we have the ability to reimagine and reinvent our drum sounds, whether we're talking about drum loops, whether we're talking about a set of overhead microphones or a drum room mic or anything like that. We can rebalance these, we can change the levels, we can mute things, solo things, change the panning, all sorts of creative control. But in this context, I wanna talk about working in a different way with Remix drums. So we're working in Pro Tools today, taking advantage of the splice integration, and basically I've pulled in some sounds just as a basic canvas and palette that we can use for starting a production. Let's take a listen to the main harmonic element that I chose. Now let's move over to some of the rhythmic elements. And it's important to note that in these cases, I'm talking about loops that have all the different elements in them. We might have percussion, we may have snare, kick, all sorts of different things. Basically just found stuff that kind of generally work together. And I wanna to try to use this, this again being my canvas, and I wanna use this as my palette of the sounds I'm going to use to create. So let's take a listen to these different elements. So this main one actually sounds really good with the harmonic element. Now let's move over to the next one over here. Okay, so we can hear, we have some stuff that kind of loosely works with each other. Let's take a listen to everything playing together. obviously way too much information. So the very first thing we can talk about is quite simply rebalancing these individual elements. So I, I have an instance of remix drums across each one of these percussion loops. So we can talk about just the simple act of rebalancing. And if we were to isolate these different elements, this one sounds pretty good on its own, but we could listen to these different ones. Maybe I don't want this. Okay, maybe let's move over to the next one over here. Okay, so that's too busy. Let's see what's happening with the symbols. Okay, I wanna take that out completely. We could just mute that. Bring this down a little bit. Let's pull this down. What I think would be really cool to do is to actually just kind of like rebalance everything against each other and use a combination of the faders, the mute tool, or whatever's needed to kind of make these all work together. Now, if we start off with this as the basic foundation. Okay, I kind of like the dirty, grungy thing that's happening there. Now let's take a listen to the two of these together. Maybe what we could try is just bringing in the snare from here. We could try the kick as well. Okay, I don't mind that, it, more of, a, of an accent, but we'll definitely bring that down. So let's bring in this one, just to kind of remind ourselves what we're working with. Okay, I don't want the kick at all, so let's mute that. And let's try to find that percussive element. So now let's take a listen to the three of these elements together. Okay, let's bring in our next element. We'll take this out of solo safe. I don't think I want any of the kick elements. Okay, you know what? Maybe we're only gonna work with the hi-hats here. Okay, let's bring in the other elements that we had and let's see how these play against each other.
while we're at it, I want to bring down the level of this. Okay, now I do have this last element here. Let's take a listen to see if we need anything. Okay, I don't think I want the hi-hats. But there is a little percussive thing, which I think would be kind of cool. Okay. Just as kind of like a little accent, something like that. So all these other elements over here, we actually don't need any of these. And let's see how these all play together now. And let's bring in our harmonic element. What I want to do is actually automate the level of the symbol. So if we go into the automation mode over here, we have symbols gain, we can add this. So now if we go to symbols gain and we add this, we click OK. Now within the actual automation, I can go to the symbols gain. So maybe I want to just have it happen on two sections over here. So then I could bring it back. Now, obviously, it would be a little bit more detailed in terms of our automation, but that is something that we can do. If we want to have certain elements that come in and out or maybe level changes that happen, we can automate that. So using Remix drums to either solo, mute, or change the level of the individual channels from within a drum loop is really useful, but you might find yourself in situations where you need a little bit more control. And that's where making use of aux channels in supported DAWs. We can just call up an auxiliary channel, and then if we go to the actual routing of that, channel. I've simply set this to the plugin instance that I want. In this case, I want to isolate the kick channel for a little bit more processing. So if we take a quick look at the snare and we solo this out, we can see we have our instance of remix where we've sold the snare. And then I'm just applying a basic stock gate. But now if I move over to the kick track, which is on an aux channel, I have now individual control over the processing here. So let's take a listen to this. And if I bring my processing in, it's going to sound very different. And if we listen to everything together. So now let's take a listen to our before and after. So this is if we just brought in all the drum loops in exactly as they were. And now let's listen to the after. So this is a great way to get yourself inspired, lay down a bed, lay down a foundation. And of course, we still have all of our mixing tools that we would have in our DAW. We can readjust with the faders. We can readjust everything from within Akon Digital's Remix drums. We can apply processing as needed. Hope you enjoyed this video and we will catch you in the next video. Cheers.